Hi, my name is Tom Hordy. I'm a product manager at Adobe Systems, responsible for Photoshop Lightroom as well as the Camera plugin that's part of Photoshop CS5. I wanted to give you a quick preview of some of the new lens correction technology that will be part of Lightroom 3 and the Camera 6 plugin. Here we're looking at an image that has some obvious uh, geometric distortion. Uh, it's a 15 millimeter lens. You can see the horizon line is quite bowed, and the street is uh, is unnaturally curved. So there's two ways I can I can fix this. I, I can apply a profile-based correction, and this essentially is a profile that contains all the characteristics of the, the lens in terms of geometric distortion, uh, chromatic aberration, and vignetting characteristics. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to enable a lens profile correction. And you can see, based on the EXIF information, we can pick out the right camera uh, make, we can pick out the right lens model, and it will assign a profile based on all of that information. And we've quickly uh, evened out that horizon line and, and made the street much more natural. Uh, so with Camera 6 and Lightroom 3, we'll be providing uh, a handful of profiles uh, to address some uh, Canon and Nikon lenses, as well as a, a, a large number of Sigma lenses. Um, and I'll get into more details about how you can profile your lenses in a second. Let's take a look at another image. Uh, this goes beyond uh, traditional geometric distortion. Uh, this is actually, <clears throat> you can see the middle window frame is bowing out and the outer window frame is kind of pulling in. And this is what, uh, what we call wave distortion. Uh, so this would be very difficult to correct for with traditional controls. But the lens profile uh, corrections actually uh, can address a number of different uh, distortion models. And so if I go ahead and I, I choose to correct that, we've quickly uh, ad addressed those issues in this file. Okay. Here's another example. Uh, you know, this was shot with a 24 to 105 millimeter lens, and uh, it's shot wide to 24. And I actually want to uh, enable the lens profile correction actually to address some chromatic aberration, which un unfortunately is not going to be visible in this, uh, in this example video. Uh, but what I'm finding, though, is I actually liked some of the natural vignetting that was going on as part of this, uh, this image, as well as some of the geometric distortion. So if I go down to the correction amount here, I can actually control those individual parameters and essentially turn the volume up or down uh, on each of those issues. So if I go ahead and turn vignetting all the way down to zero, that's effectively turning off that correction, and I'm returning that natural vignette to the image. And if I tweak down the uh, distortion a little bit, I can actually bring back some of that natural distortion that was part of the original image. So I, I consider these volume controls that are set uh, at 100 by default, and you can turn up the amount of correction or turn down the amount of correction based on your preference. Let's take a look at another image. Uh, here again, shot with a 24 to 105 millimeter lens. All I need to do is enable the profile, and I've quickly straightened out uh, some of that curvature we, we saw in the image. Similar example, uh, this directory sign uh, is looking uh, somewhat bowed and curved, which is not the reality. So I, again, I can apply a, a quick lens profile correction. And then I want to take it a step further. I want to actually uh, kind of transform the perspective a bit. I'm going to go to the manual uh, tab here. And this is where we find the additional manual controls. Typically, um, in previous versions of Camera Raw and Lightroom, we had the uh, manual chromatic aberration controls as well as the manual lens vignetting controls. Those are still here. The new part is the tr uh, transform controls. So in this case, I actually want to go in and I want to transform the vertical a bit. So it looks like I shot this straight on instead of at an angle. Now at the bottom of the image, you can see that that vertical transform is bringing in some gray area. So <clears throat> one thing we could do is we could take the image to Photoshop CS5 and use the content aware fill uh, feature, uh, which has received quite a bit of attention, or I can choose to use one of the crop uh, controls, which allows us to constrain the crop to just the viewable image area, uh, and so it'll automatically remove that <coughs> that gray edge and crop down to just the image itself. So very very handy. Looking at another image, again this one just has a little bit of vignetting uh, and some curvature. Applying the profile corrects for that. Here we're at an image um, shot with a uh, Canon PowerShot G9. Uh, and so I, I see some obvious curvature. I can go in and manually control some of the distortion characteristics. Um, you know, but what if I don't have a profile for it and I actually want to use a profile based correction? Well, what you can do is use the new Adobe Lens Profile Creator tool. Um, we'll be providing this. Uh, free on Adobe Labs uh, as a utility to create these profiles. 
and it, it, basically what you want to do is you want to print out some of the, the test charts that we've provided, uh, shoot them a couple different ways, the instructions will be on Adobe Labs, and then load them into this Lens Profile Creator. All right, and it'll read all of the um, read all the EXIF information, and then what you'll be able to do is decide: Well, do I want to you know build a model that includes just geometric distortion or chromatic aberration or vignetting? Uh, and what you do is you just click Generate Profiles, and you'll save out a profile. So the next time you go to open up that image, you'll actually uh, have the option uh, to correct on a profile-based uh, solution. So that fixed that image right away. Uh, there's a lot of different camera and lens combinations. Uh, available to photographers and so what the lens profile creator uh, allows us to do is, is give photographers a way to create their own profiles and, and not necessarily be dependent on Adobe providing uh, those specific profiles. Here's another image uh, we'll, we'll finish up on this one. Th this, uh, this I shot relatively quickly with a point-and-shoot uh, camera while I was in New York and I just love the fact that uh, there was still a traditional darkroom in one of the studios I was visiting so I don't have a, a profile correction for this, but there's some there's some obvious geometric distortion there. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, use the manual controls just to correct for that. And I can tap the V key uh, to give myself a grid. And I'm going to go ahead and actually correct for some of the vertical distortion as well. I'll make it look like I shot it uh, straight on. Okay. I'm going to hit the V key again to remove that. And it's just a quick way to even out that image and make it uh, look a little bit more natural. Uh, a little bit more even, uh, and so I can use the manual controls, even though I don't necessarily have a profile for this lens. So that's a quick preview of the lens correction technology that's going to be part of Photoshop CS5, uh, the camera off plugin, as well as the uh, Lightroom 3 final release. Uh, so we're very excited about this and look forward to hearing your thoughts on this quick preview. Thank you.